So the first is market, number two is message, then comes monetization. And what that means is you create a product or a solution, a service that you're going to take money for that perfectly solves that problem in your way. However it is, it may be a piece of software that you developed, it might be a worksheet that you, a checklist, it could be a consulting or coaching um, pattern that you walk them through, and it could be a service that you do work for them on. It doesn't matter, but you have to, number one, find out what the market wants and what their pain is, and craft your message so that it gets their attention, and then and only then can you sell them that product and get money in, in exchange for that. Right. Uh, here's the big, so let's take the opposite. You said, what should people do? Here's what a lot of people do, unfortunately, and I run across them all the time. They start at the end. They create a product, a solution, a widget. They write a book. They create a course. And then they go, I wonder who would buy this. <laughs> and they wonder why they're broke. Well, it's because you got it all backwards. You can't start at the solution and then try to find the market. Go find the hot, angry, frustrated, you know, painful market and with a huge problem. That's the difference between those two is so far apart that I often liken it to this. If you create the product and then go try to find the audience, it's like going out in the desert and drilling for water. It's yes. a lot of work. It's expensive and it's time consuming. And maybe, maybe you might find water. Finding a market first and then creating a solution is like going out in a rushing, gorgeous, amazing river stream with crystal clear water, taking a bucket, dipping it down in the water and lifting it back up and taking a sip. Pure, clean refreshment. That's how far apart those two ideas are. So it's market, message, monetization, and in that order. Get more content plus free bonuses and resources at jpmaroney.com slash VIP.